Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. It's Angela, the Traveling Crafter, here for my second installment of the um, shop that I bought out the ephemera at. And uh, I'm really excited. I did the right thing this time. I left, I just opened the box, I pulled this stack out and I have one next to me and the rest is very full. So we're going to get right at it. Um, so if you didn't see my last video, go check it out. Uh, you'll see all of the great things that I found, and I found some treasures in there. So this is uh, from a gal who is an artist and a reseller. She knows what she's doing. She gets great things, and uh, she has closed her brick-and-mortar store, and I purchased out all of her um, ephemera. So... Uh, there's some really great things. This is from 1990, no, 1990, 1929. The Cleveland Museum, no, Cleveland Musical Instrument Company. Wow, I need to have some more coffee. Whoosh, it's early. It's early. Very cute. Very cute. I won't go through every single thing like this. Okay, let's put this aside for a second. We've got more patterns. Ooh, that looks fun. We're going to go through that in a minute. What is this? What is this? Oh, here's another one of the uh, embroidery transfers. Those are cute. I should try this and see if I can get the, these to go on paper because this is an old one. The Grand Canyon River Guide. Oh, Dave would like this. That's cool. We will probably bring that to a live sale. Bits and pieces on fabulous Cape Henlopen. Henlopen, where is that? Well, to Fenwick Island, Delaware, Maryland line. Huh. Interesting. Well, I can look at that later. You don't need to see that. The National Board of Examiners <clears throat> Seal of Acceptance Penmanship Certificate, 1967. Very cool. Ooh, this is cute. Finian's Coloring Book. I'm not going to open that up, but I think that that will be something that is super cute to bring to a live sale. Super cute. Another Reminisce magazine. These are so cute. They just have so many neat things in them um, to curate. So I will probably be bringing a lot of these to the live sale. And a little history on antiques too. So there are those. Let's see what's in here. These look like... Well, here, let's take... Oh, these are wine labels. Maybe not all wine labels. We were just talking about how beautiful, on one of our live sales, how beautiful um, cigar labels can be. Wine. Yep, these are all wine labels. Ooh, exciting. I see bundles in my future. And you can find those on the Maker's Market. Wow, these are old. Ingleneck, that's not old. Grand Marnier. Italian wines. Catawaba. <laughs> That's a cool name. Oh, these are fantastic. All right, so I'm going to put those up here. I'll put those away later. So what I did when I was off camera from the last one is I basically went through everything I showed you, and then I... Um, separated it by things I'm selling, things that will go in bundles, um, things I need to sort where I'm keeping some and I'm going to put some into bundles and or bring them to the live sales. So I've got it pretty much. And then books, things like that. Oh, and this was interesting. I won't go through all these. These are all vintage cards. Oh, these are great. Look at those. Blingy, but blingster. Um... I went through all of those greeting cards that weren't terribly, terribly old. Um, 
from the last batch. Oh my gosh, I found tons of them that I can keep and put in with my um, orders, which I can that I can send to friends. I, it was really awesome. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So these are all pretty much vintage greetings. And you know how much I love vintage greetings. So cute. Some Christmas. Oh, I did separate holidays too. So... And then after I'm done with these, then I'll go through them all again and um, separate them a little bit more succinctly. And that way it'll keep me a little bit organized because my goal today is, uh, you know, because it's always good to say your goals out loud. These are cute. Um, my goal today is to get through all five. Well, I have this box and three more to go through. I have a um, the Orange Story Caravan book to do a video on and to do all of my invoicing, which I did not get time to do on the weekend. I um, was very busy and did get to spend some quality time with the kiddos. So um, I just made that my priority. Oh, here's more of these little, these are little envelopes if you didn't see in the last video. They're so cute. I'm not sure what they were used for, but look at how tiny they are. Cute, huh? So we got those. I have a little stack of small ephemera over there. Some very old Monopoly money. We'll put that with small ephemera. Uh, ooh. The palette, um, Palace of Bruxelles. Is that, I don't know what that... You know, I could assume it's Brussels, but I don't know. 1950, December 18th. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Nordenbrook. His Royal Highness, Prince Baudouin, has instructed me to thank you very much for your pretty Christmas card and good wishes. The Prince wishes you a happy Christmas and a bright new year. Believe me, yours truly, sincerely, Viscount Gatio. De, de par oh my goodness this is all french ephemera holy cow that's awesome you know i love that i've sold a few of those um a few bundles and some french pages on my uh live sales and so that's always fun this looks like it is a, oh, I'm not going to open this all up, but I will later. I wonder if it's a, no, I have to. I want to know if it's a menu because I like the travel menus. Um, this is a big one though. Let me see. Yes, it is. That's cool. Jumbo shrimp cocktail is only 75 cents. Winning. I wish that was the case. I've been on a very healthy eating kick, and I've been trying to up my protein game. And I'm not a huge. I'm not a big chicken eater. I don't like chicken really that much, but I'll eat it. Um... So, I've been eating a lot of shrimp. A lot of seafood. And I don't know what that was. I'm sorry, I just went by it. Wartime First Aid, the health magazine of the American Medical Association. Dave will want to look at this, I can tell. You got stinky breath. They'll tell you how to fix that. Wartime. Oh my gosh, that's cute. All right. A Woman's Day from 1965. These are great. Wonderful. I know I'm going through this quick, but I have a big box. Oh, wow. This is more of that. Um, this is different, though. This is grid paper. Yikes. I'm already running out of room. Oh, some of my favorite books. The My Do and Learn book. And I love it when they've actually done the work in it. That makes me happy. Look at this. Floral insertions. 
from JPN Coats. It is from 1949. Wow. Definitely, you can tell she was, she knew her stuff and was um, on the mixed media and junk journal train, huh? Our Lady of Angels Retirement Home. Wow. And then this is 1965 and 1966, How to Play Ma Tong with playing cards and Chinese tiles. That's interesting. And there's some other things in here too. Game chest. So just some game directions. Okay, I have to pop up and get another stack out of there. Um, let's see, let's look at this big, big old thing. This must be very fragile because it's in this big package. Someone paid $10 for this originally. What is it? Wheaties box. Oh, that's fun. The Breakfast of Champion. Lots of Wheaties boxes. Here it is. Ring two of your post cereal circus. Oh, these are great. I'm going to have to put another circle, but, or circle, circus bundle together. This is very fragile. I don't know what it is. Hours of sport with these fascinating Western games. What exactly is this? This is a mystery. Does anybody know? I'm going to try to open it up this way. No, I'm not, I guess. Oh! Hold on. Is there stuff inside these? Oh, okay. So you fold this all out somehow. And there's like, I don't know. It's like a, here, I can just show you that. It's like a map for a game, playing for some kind of game. So that's interesting. All right. So I'm going to fold that up and put it over here and go through it. I'll put it out on the, lay it out and see what it's all about. This is, I hope you're enjoying these I, as much as I'm enjoying. This is, she's a porcelain artist. I like this paper and it tells you how to do this, how to paint this. Very cool. All right, let's grab on another stack here. There we go. All right, here we go. Let me see, okay, yes. This is cool, they're blank. They're heavy, they look like negatives. Uh, Miss St. Mary's RC Church of Cardale, Pennsylvania, Lady of Fatina Play, Sunday, November, 1954. Let's just take one of these out. Yep, yeah, these are all negatives and they're of the play. You can't see that, but that's cool. And it's very cool. This is... Um, graduation from the 8th grade students on 1955. And this is First Holy Communion. There's only about four pictures in there. All right, here's a tally book for what? It's blank. That's cool. Um, these look like paper doll pieces. Let's pull a couple out. Oh, yeah. Oh, cute. Baby paper doll pieces. These would be cute in a ba my baby journal. At least some of them. But I feel like there's going to be some lots of bundles. I'm going to have my work cut out for me. If you take a mouse to school. Little mousey goodies. Um... Buddy Bear's Lost Growl. This is a little baby, um, Tiny Tales, Whitman book. 
some uh, metallic letters. Looks like there's a lot of them in there, all red. Um, who is this artist? I should know this. I don't know. I don't remember. Um, 20 unfilled. 15. I don't know what that means. Maybe not. Anything to do with this bundle of goodies. Okay. Let's see. Family stamps. Empty. Cashback coupon book. Top value. Purse size. So you'd post your little stamps in there. I don't think any of these are all empty. Maybe there'll be some stamps more. Here's S and H stamps. Are these all empty? That's kind of cool that they're empty too. Yeah, these are all empty S and H stamp books. Wow. That's a lot. All right. So I hope that you guys tell me what you like as you are going through this, some of your favorite things. Oh my, holy cow. Remember I told you I had bought um, all of those. Oh, if this has, oh my goodness, I'm excited. Um, I had bought all of those postcards. Well, and I was gonna, going to do a live sale it appears that I have more to bring to the sale. So let's just look at a, let's just grab out a stack and look at what we got. Um, it looks like lots of picture postcards of different places, which I love these. I love, these are some of my favorites. This is in Grand Rapids, Michigan, Salt Lake City. It's the temple, Griffin, Georgia. Niagara Falls, and it's chocked full. It says 1919 to 1970. So that'd be fun to go through. I need to get on the ball and start, ouch, doing some sales. I poked myself on the um, <laughs> staples. Okay, let's hope this has some writing in it. Oh, darn it. It doesn't. But it's cool. 85. Well, these are little flashcards. Oh, there's just how to tell time. Eight, 855. What am I saying? That's cool. There's some kids that are uh, my kids' age that could probably stand to use those flashcards. Three Feathers, Life of the Party. Games and Quizzes. Oh, this is cute. Lovely. Um, more of these. I had some of those. These are the State Ohio Bu Bureau of Vehicles. That's cool. All right, so let's see. Now, the bottom part looks like it has a bunch of magazines. And oh my goodness. Yes. Look. More tomato. I love these. Oh my gosh, this just thrills me. I'm easily... Easily thrilled, I guess. All right, let's see. Stamps for Terry. Extras. I tell you, with the stuff that I bought on my last extravaganza and all of this, oh yeah, it's full of stamps. Well, I have plenty of stamps, so these are all gonna go. I have bundles on the Maker's Market, and I'm just gonna add these and maybe I'll bring some. These are really old. There's Churchill, um, Poland, Andrew Jackson, Kennedy, Indiana. Wow, there's some really old ones in here. Very nice. Stamps, stamps, and more stamps. All right, so two things of stamps. These are stamp hinges. Ooh, let's see if there's any in here. There are a couple. And they look like that. I don't know that these will be suitable, but the package is cool. Stamp finder. And now we have some magazines. 
Um, the Good Old Days from 1974. Oh, this is fun. Very nice. I'm creating a craft lunch over here. Another one. <laughs> Ooh, this looks right at my alley. Craft fun. When is this from? Easy to do pro. Oh my goodness. 1975. This one hasn't even been hardly opened, if if it has at all. Oh, scrumptious. Um, color me princesses. So this is with uh, Charles and Diana, your own royal scenes from 1982. That's cute. Neat. Uh, a notebook. I'll probably just use this. Because why not? Uh, more tiny grid paper. Uh, stay there. More grid paper. Bigger. And then, was there anything else in here? No. Okay, I'm good. And then the last thing is, looks like a bundle already made up. Let's see what's in here. Oops, I just knocked you, hit you, sorry. All right, we've got some of that old, old Monopoly money, some old tickets, some tiny little flashcards. Well, I think I'll just bring this to sale. Look at the clown. Maybe I need to keep this out for a circus pack. There we go. Some eagle stamps. Those are from that eagle print. Oh, look at these little glassine bags. A negative a funeral home ad. Some more little bags. Oh gosh, this is full of fun. These are cool inventory tags, and they're two double-sided, or two forms. Christmas greetings. Uh, some slides. There's Nixon on there. That's interesting. A... Oh, this is like a six-sack. Very cool. And you can find that out in a lot of different languages. Another little envelope. Yeah, this is a great bundle. Wow. Cash's woven names. There's another eagle thing. Blank first uh, or uh, postcard. A word of perfect attendance from the Charles Dickens School. 1969, 1944, letter, envelope, certificate of attendance. I'm putting those over there because they're kind of related to school. Those are cool. Chipotle. <laughs> That's awesome. I want to look at this one here in a minute. Let's see. A map, more map, more... Maryland Outdoor Recreation, City Book in Washington, more map. We're off the gold standard. One of these things that we still don't know exactly what they are. Some tissue from Patterns, a um, Monopoly card, Uno score card, Pattern Directions. Um, more money, memo pad, some dictionary page, and then last but not least is this little bundle, Sentimental Journey. And this is awesome. Your remittance will be much appreciated. Please, <laughs> this is cool. According to law, this prescription cannot be refilled, nor copy given. Okay, I need to keep one or two of those. Oh, these are pharmacy labels too. Okay, I need to 
keep some of these. Your payment is a past due. Essentials of Peppermint. You have doubtlessly overlooked this account. And these, okay, these can go into the medical ones and be gifted. But I'm telling you, there's some really, really awesome things in this particular bundle. I hope you enjoyed that box. Uh, it was fun for me to go through. Now I need to sort it really quick. And then I'll be back for installment number three, which will be full of wonderful things, uh, I am sure. So I hope you're enjoying this series. And I hope you join me again soon. Until next time, friends, remember to take time to just be. We'll see you soon. Cheers.